the Muse Medicina Wednesday Wellness Reading. I think this is my third week doing that. Um, so I'm just going to start with some full disclosure about life. Um, ever since my son was born and, sh and shortly after his birth, I stopped treating because treatment got really super duper heavy um, and I'm breastfeeding. I... I kind of like, well, as mothers know, you like lose yourself in the first year, right? You're like, who am I? What have I come for? All I am is like a waitress to this little human. I keep him alive. It's really amazing to keep your little human alive. Um, and it's beautiful. And, and everything that I was before this like medicine woman, right? Like not went away, but got way put on the back burner. And, and moreover, I realized I had been acting as a medicine woman my whole life because my grandma taught me how to heal with my hands when I was really young and I was the youngest and I was the peacekeeper and I was, I was like always that one in the family. And then same, same when I was in college, I would have like the athletes come and see me because I could heal them better than in the training room and things like that. And people would always come cry with me and then I was an RA. Anyways, just like, like psh, whole life healer, right? Um, so I realized I didn't really want to do that like one-on-one, -on -one, like wrestling with people and their demons all the time, like, literally and figuratively. So it's just been a lot of rewriting myself. And so those readings, um, I also had a lot of resistance to like, um, I have this all this Aquarius-ness in me, Aquarius rising. I have this resistance to being like one of the many like Insta brujas, right? But I love reading tarot and it's fun and it's easy. And I don't have to like see the seeing happens for me with the cards. So I decided to start doing a reading every, um, oh, a book, few readings every week. And I've been really enjoying it. Um, so I'm going to do that for you. This is our Wednesday wellness reading. And this is all about how we can better choose our wellness. Um, just little tips. Tarot cards are not about telling you the past, present, and future. Tarot cards are pretty much like slapping slapping you and being like, what are you doing? What are you doing? Um, hey, Becca. Um, thank you all for being here. Um, before I get into the reading, I'm going to pump up my new online courses. That's my Carlton because I'm super excited about it. Hello, Mirto. Um, and my new online courses. So I'm really excited. I have a moon medicine course. Um, they are all four weeks long. Um, there are scholarships available. I'm also making it available to you guys to share. Um, get a group of girls together. Get a group of dudes together. Get a group together. Um, same price. Just hold each other accountable to the medicine and share the medicine and work on each other and touch each other and stuff. But since it's online, I can't be there with you. But oh. Moon medicine is taking us through the mental, emotional, spiritual, and physical, as well as the historical stuff, why our moon times are all wrapped up. And as a Chinese medicine doctor, I've got a lot, um, and a, an ancestral medicine healer, I have a lot of uh, success healing moon time, everything. I have also recently taken classes from Indige Mama Panquetzani and learned stuff that is from her lineage in Mexican traditional medicine. Um, and I'll incorporate some of that, but mostly from a Chinese medicine and just like a hands-on healing medicine as well as an ancestral trauma medicine lens for that one. Um, then there's a food foundations course, and that is also a four-week course. And that's all going to take us through the history of food in America, the standard American diet. Thanks, Becca. I appreciate that. And um, standard American diet history and pretty much just talk about um, what foods heal and what foods hurt and why, um, and also going to be some some simple cooking stuff. Um, because as a Chicana in the U.S. of the A, um, and somebody grew up in marginalized way and in poverty, there it's not easy to eat well if you don't know what you're doing, right? Um, and, and that's a big stopping point for a lot of us. It's like, well, I don't know how to cook that. I'm going to teach you. Um, and it's real simple. So that is the second class, and that's in March. And then the third class I'm also super excited and passionate about. It's called Birthing Basics. If you're a birth worker, um, if you're a birthing human, if you are expecting or want to expect, we're going to go through pre-pregnancy or fertility, pregnancy, 
the actual birth ceremony and postpartum from a Chinese medicine, indigenous medicine, spiritual ceremonial medicine, naturalist lens, as well as a discussion about why to choose a hospital birth if you if you need to and why to choose home birth. Um, so those are my three classes going on right now. Um, if you write wellness Wednesday wellness reading in an email to me, eutimia, E-U-T-I-M-I-A at gmail.com, I'll give you a discount. And, um, and again, if you can get a group of people, it's the same price, just split the cost um, because the medicine is for everyone. And I need to get paid, but I also want to share. Um, okay, I'm writing for this too. I'm writing books and um, I'm not complete with them. I'm starting, I'm starting. Um, and I have stuff written, but I'm not finished. So if you have specific things you want me to put in the literature, let me know because this is a co-creative process. So I'm really excited to be doing that. You can go to my website, Muse Medicina, M-U-S-E-M-E-D-I-C-I-N-A.com. And my honey, who's my tech support, um, made the landing page my new online online classes. I am also offering um, consultations at my website. It's the only thing that you can book with me. That will be on Thursdays and Sundays, Mountain Standard Time from 12 to 3. So just a little bit of time. I'm, I'm a full-time mama, and um, but I still have, have a perspective that I think is very unique and very useful, especially if you um, are wanting some breadth of understanding from a holistic perspective on any symptomology or diagnoses that you have. So there's all of that out of the way right now. Hi, beautiful. Yay. Okay. Um, so thank you for listening to that. Also want to shout out to the hubby for getting me a webcam. So Instagram, you're seeing my iPhone, but Facebook, y'all are seeing the brand new webcam. It's a lot for me. I'm like, whoa, you can see everything. Um, I have issues about getting old. I know I like talk a lot about like healing and stuff, but we all have our fuck shit that mentality things that happen. I also cuss a lot. I'm not sorry. Okay, here we go. Wednesday wellness reading. I am going to use the modern witch tarot. Um, Actually, no, I'm not because one of those cards is not here. I'm going to use the Wild Unknown Tarot deck because I really like it. Oh, my son, son. He, his daddy takes him and so lovingly so, but si tiene mamitis. He's a little mama's boy. I think most babies around this age become mama's boys or not boys, girls, especially when they're breastfed. It's the Wild Unknown deck. I really like it. And I'm going to use my good old faithful. Oh, I do have my modern witch tarot deck. Ah, ta ta ta. Orale, maybe I'll use that. This is my Santa Muerte deck. Oh, what's up? You still didn't tell me. I I should watch your videos. Um, S A. Ah, uh, I I did watch some of your videos. Arma. My, uh, arts S-A I know that Sa Sa I like the way you talk I was just paying attention to you talking Also in this new phase of my existence as a mother Oh no Amor Will you get me my charger for my computer? Yeah it's telling me my battery is low Sorry, guys. I got you. Hold on. It's right Thank here. you. Will you put it for me, Porfa, my love? I have the best man that any girl could ever ask for. Baby's like, where'd you go? Hito, we'll be right there. Thank you, Daddy. Love you. Love you. <laughs>